Hi, uh, my name is Ethan. I'm a student of Liberty Community College. I'm here with uh, Mr. Sam. Please, can you tell me about yourself and your company? Sure. My name is Sam Lee. Uh, I come to. Uh, to uh, I'm a Chinese immigrant. I uh, come to this country in 1978, and I uh, I set up my company in 1982. Uh, my company name is Hills Trading. I pick up this name from uh, address where the company gets started in Forest Hills, New York. And I just pick up the Hills Trading. And it sounds like a good name when I did it. Uh, my business is a, it's a convenience store supplier. Um, it sell products to uh, metro area corner stores, mama papa store, variety stores. Uh, we at the beginning we do delivery, we give uh, our client credit, uh, we take the inventory, uh, we ship the product to them, uh, we do a lot of service to them. And as a business growing uh, after twenty some year now, our company now now that they I have two warehouse uh, another company called SL Discount Distributor. I still service the same uh, field, uh, but we are located in a much uh, greater uh, scale than when I started. Uh, now we have uh, one warehouse about 35 square, 35,000 square foot in Northern mm -hmm. City, and one other one is 27,000 uh, square foot in uh, Woodside, New York. So how many employees did you start with your company when you started? When I started, basically I had me and my wife. Uh, and later on, of course, I hired one more people. It's totally about three people. Uh, now I have uh, totally about 22 people work for me. Okay, so how do you hire those people? I usually hire people uh, through a newspaper, a referral from uh, other uh, friends, or sometimes we also use some uh, institutional area. And what skills require you to deal with this kind of people? For example, speaking skills. Do you have to speak person to person? Uh, I believe when you hire the people uh, for for this many years, uh, basically, when you sit with your with the people you're hiring, you pretty much can you pretty much can uh, sense from what kind of character or attitude they have. You know, although you may not know in all the details, so usually we try when we talk to the people first hiring, we tell them you have the three months of uh, training, and you know to. Period. So in this case, give myself a room, and of course we don't say that because it sounds like a little bit insulting to the people who apply for the job. Sure. We kind of also tell them, look, you as much as we need to get you to know you, you need to, you need to know us. You may perfect, we may perfect, but we not necessarily can be a perfect match. So in this case, you give both of them has an area to step down later. So you don't embarrass in either one. So we kind of like uh, a little bit human, you know, like uh, sure. not try to not to be uh, to be very very macho, you know, to tell people, look, I'm I, I'm the hiring guy, and you, you come to look and work. If I don't like you, I just I can let, just let you go. You try not to have that type of attitude because it's not really a good way of running a business. How often do you read information paper for your job? Preparing? You try to uh, you try to order some magazine because uh, this is uh, the knowledge explosion. Uh, you know, this this generation uh, a lot of information are pulling in and they're in a rapid uh, a rapid advance speeding. Uh, so I do I require a lot of information nowadays from uh, web. Okay. From, uh, from the internet, uh, but I still order a few uh, magazines, some for the leisure, and but some is really just enrich myself. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what is the most important advice you could give uh, in college students who wants to open business just like you? For my experience, I usually uh, tell people uh, 
when you just step out of school, everything, every little thing is a learning experience. Uh, before you can pick up a job, uh, it's a hundred percent, you know, from one to ten points, it's ten point job you like to have. Uh, usually that not really happen. A lot of times it's not really happen. So I would suggest first thing you just go in. Everything is a learning experience. You, if you never have a job, you should take a job because just a job itself can teach you a lot of things. Yes. Uh, your boss may not just tell you, hey, how come you come so late? That's a basic boss and employee. Mm -hmm. uh, he give you a comment and give you, you know, and that relationship is part of the job experience. So I would suggest just go in and take a job. Take him first. Uh, have a very positive view of the job. Mm -hmm. And the good one and the bad one is all learning experience. And from there, you sort it up, what you experience, and you're looking for the next one. Uh, don't just don't just look the good one and, and, and look the bad one as non-value. Always look up. Everything has a value. And try to learn from what you have on hand. Uh, because you never know when you need it. Work, I had a retail experience for six years. The one really take our company grow rapidly is uh, 1991. And that used all my knowledge on that retail experience. And you talked about, I finished my retail experience in 1984. Okay. And seven years later, my company rapidly grow because of that experience. Because I totally use up every retail experience I have. And, and when I set up my second company, and that's take our company you know, grow from that point. So I always tell people, just learn as much as you can. You never know when that can be useful. So I think that's, that, that should be a, a good one. Just learn, mm -hmm. just learn. Um, because if you, if you don't like it, and you stop learning, you still waste your time unless you don't do, unless at the same time you're done do something productive. Yes. But if you just don't like this and you don't do anything else, you have a zero gain. But if you don't like it and you still try to like it, learn from the bad one or something you don't like, meanwhile you're looking for another field which you like. And, but meanwhile you, have the, you, you are gain, gain something. And it, in your early life, you need to gain something every day. Is there anything uh, I haven't asked you? I have two kids and they all, uh, what, both of them work for uh, company for a few years and then later on I ask them if they like to try to, you know, both of them work for me. I would try, uh, one experience I gave to them is, 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 is pretty much our company really uh, a little bit different from other company. When the same level of the company we had since it started from early 90, uh, 80. Uh, why I do a little bit better than others? Uh, first of all, of course, my retail experience will really give me uh, experience when I speak to the on the street with the new client. Right away, they know I'm with them and I'm very, very uh, knowledgeable. So they. It's a trustworthy, you know, when you do the speaking. And the other one is our company has in these two, in 1983 and 1991, which two company uh, startup, it really has always is the very early stage of a new form of sales. In 1983, uh, my retail experience gave me a chance of putting health and beauty care product with sundry products together and give the give the retail, this small corner store a chance of order both field product together from one company. Uh, before that they, this is a two separate channel and people have to buy from different channel and they have to meet different different order minimum and they are non-essential in these two channel distribution system. So in 1991, we also is the first company doing a cash carry, uh, which come you know customer come to the warehouse pick up themselves, 
And it's similar to what Costco, but Costco open okay. to public. Public. We don't open to public. We only it's we only service to uh, uh, trading. Yeah, to trade only. But our company give this small company come in, pick up the stationery, the toys, the the seasonal products, and they don't. It's no minimum required. You can buy very minimum, and you can have the product for sale. So we are the first company does that at the late time. And now you have quite a little bit of them who also do the same type. But back in 1991, we, we pretty much the only first one in this metro area does that. So, so our company also grew very fast, yeah. It's until like 2001, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. My pleasure, thank you. I really appreciate it for okay. your time. Thank you so much. My pleasure, thank, thank you. you.